My name is Mel Reynolds. I'm an architect and the developer of the Muse in Sandy Cove. It's a three to four bed modern house. The design is a contemporary modern usable home for either a family or a couple. It's built to pass a standard, which means that it will be a net zero carbon house, ultra low energy house. Um, if we achieve this standard on this build, it will be the first one in the country. The fact that it's a net zero carbon house means that it's effectively future proof from any future rises in energy costs. The value of the house then will be retained over its lifespan as a result. Well, we have a full design team appointed on the project, including a separate certified passive house consultant. We will be doing a competitive tender in about two months. The build period will be five to six months. So we expect to be completed by about May next year. Well, the duration between procurement and completion is about eight months. So we will have the opportunity to either refinance it at the end and retain it as a bill to let, move into it ourselves, or sell it on the open market. Um, either way, we will comfortably be out of our lending arrangements within about 12 months. So for any lender, we have that buffer at the end of the period. I think that anyone who's trying to get finance at the moment in the construction sector will realise and will tell you that it's incredibly difficult to get development finance at present through either the pillar banks or mezzanine lenders. The difference that I see between property bridges is that they're targeting the smaller end of the market. It, the logic behind the system of putting de depositors in touch with developments and being the sort of doing the due diligence, being the middleman, is excellent. I think you're going to see a lot more business being done in this way in future.